Ah, the rural staple of the ploughman's lunch. When the old ploughman had been off all morning ploughing the fields, as is his wont, he would come back at lunchtime and traditionally have a meal of bread, pickle and cheese, which would be called a ploughman's lunch, of which there are many regional variations, and most of which you can now get in pubs at lunchtime. One of those classic meals. And apparently also you can get it in a bright orange packet. From Pub Original, it's... Plowman's Lunch Snack Pack. Delicious any time. I think that may be a lie, because this looks like something that's not going to be delicious ever. For starters, it's not actually a Plowman's Lunch as such. It's a cream cracker with a bit of shitty processed cheese and three small silver skin pickled onions on it. Cheese, cream crackers and pickled onions. Maybe that's a variation I'm not aware of. Maybe it's a load of cheap stuff put in an envelope and sent to me. I think that's more likely. Oh good, and it's considerably out of date. I didn't realise that. Well, that's just going to add to the flavour, I'm sure. Processed cheese portion, cream crackers and pickled silver skin onions. Mm -mm -mm. Contains gluten, soya, milk, sulphites and insects. Brilliant! Well, I'm really looking forward to this now I know it's out of date. Marvellous. I'm sure it'll still be fine, he lied. Well, wow, I was going to say the crackers are actually whole after being sent to me, but nope, they have been smashed to shit and back, so that's going to be fun. The che oh my god, the cheese is literally some god awful um, dairy lee something. Oh god, this one's supposed to be kept refrigerated, is it? Because it hasn't been. Store in a cool, dry place. Oh, that'll do. And. Wow. Three small pickled onions in a plastic bag. The future is now, people. Who thought our technology would lead us to this? Right, now I've got to try and see if I can arrange... What the hell is this? Looks like something that fell out of a skeleton's underpants. Um, so presumably this is for spreading the cheese on. Oh, great. Right, let's see what we can get out of the smashed up crackers. This is the problem when people send things to me. If you are sending food to my PO box, by the way, try not to send crisps or chips, as they call them in America, because they inevitably explode en route and you just end up with a box full of smashed up crisps. Um, right, we're going to use this little bit. Here's Happy Cow. Mmm, look how happy he, she is. Mmm, it's not it's like Laughing Cow, but wasn't quite amused enough. 1889, probably the year this was made. Right, I don't know if this is actually going to be edible now, but we'll try. I think it's so processed it basically contains no organic matter anymore, so it's probably safe. It smells of horrible processed cheese. There's a surprise. Okay, rather than leaving it in a big triangle like on the serving suggestion on the packet. Um, oh. mm, that could have probably gone better. It just sort of flopped out in a big lump. Um, let's, uh, let's stick that on there, comme ça. Mmm, cheesy. Well, not really. That's the problem. I'm going to angle this down a bit, actually. There we are. Wouldn't want you to miss any of the joy now, would we? And let's stick a pickled onion on it, because apparently I'm not stupid enough. Um, I'm going to go for the middle one. The smell. You know, it smells like a pickled onion. Can't imagine these really ever go off as such. And there we are. You wouldn't be ploughing the fields in the afternoon, would you? You'd just be down to the old stomach pump and sorting it out. Go on then, let's bite the end off this and regret that we ever lived. Oh god. Wow. Well, the cheese might be rancid, I can't tell. Can't really taste any of it. It's just like cardboard and vinegar with some sort of, uh, well, melting plastic in the middle. Wow! I've got to say, if I was to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, I wouldn't bother. I'd just chuck it in the bin and go home. Seriously, not good. Perhaps it's slightly better if it's not out of date. Somehow, I bloody doubt it. Actually, I'm going to try a little bit of the cheese on its own. Hang on. Mm. No, it's just very faintly tastes of uh, processed cheese. Maybe it tastes a little bit more if it's not, you know, out of date, as we keep saying. But somehow, I doubt it. Well, that was pretty much as plastic and shite as I thought it would be. Well done, pub original. You've managed to take one of the most simple meals in the world and fuck it up beyond all recognition. On the other hand, it has actually made me want to go to the pub just so I can drink myself unconscious and forget I've ever eaten it. With